Although I didn't immigrate here, my parents did. And with them, they brought their culture and they managed to share that with me. And most recently, I've been asking myself, how did I become the person I am today? And what part of my parents' culture influenced who I am today? And most importantly, I've been focusing on one specific area. And that's the point where I became self-aware. From the point where I became self-aware of my education, my goals, and what drove me, I always wondered how did I get to that point. Now I'm driven to succeed, I set goals, I know how to accomplish it, I work hard, and so forth. But every time I think about it, I arrive at the same conclusion. What I am today and how I act comes from my parents' culture and their perspective. America was built by immigrants, and it will be reinvented by immigrants once again. See, we all descent from an immigrant past, but we quickly forget too much noise all around us. We have lost touch with our cultural values, with our immigrant perspective. But the point I want to make is the fact that I have the Middle Eastern background, the French background, and the American background really made me a better person, not as a person, but also as your director. You see, there's a worker that is naturally wired to survive and thrive in these difficult, fast-changing times and that can lead fast-changing organizations that seek sustainable growth. It's a worker that takes on the entrepreneurial spirit, that embraces risk as the new normal, that can create a family and environment, that cultivates continuous innovation, that can create a generational and cultural mosaic, and does well by doing good. You know, it's very disheartening sometimes to think that diversity and the changing face of America continues to be met with tremendous resistance. I see it every day. And that needs to change because it's the power of diversity that propels innovation, brings new ideas, and makes us all a lot better. See, we understand reinvention. We understand uncertainty and change. And we certainly understand how to maximize opportunity because the immigrant leader sees opportunity everywhere. So I left London with uh, $2.58 in my pocket, expecting to be picked up at the airport. And I landed in Kennedy only to find out that there was nobody there uh, because the family had thought I'm coming the next week, so I had gone to Chicago. And so I was there, 18 years old, $2.58 and two large suitcases, uh, spoke uh, limited English. Um, and. But when you think about it, that is not all that abnormal for immigrants, you know, arriving at a foreign land and familiar, and they all end up improvising, as I did. Uh, you know, I, hot dogs then were 15 cents, and I learned to love them. Uh, you know, I had one for a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And on the sixth day, I had exhausted my $2.58, and it was not for another two days, uh, you know, before the family would show up. So as you look at ways to reinvent yourself as an individual or as a corporation, think about those people in your organization that naturally possess the ability to drive growth, new marketplace opportunities, and it begins by activating the six natural characteristics that define the immigrant perspective on business leadership.